my typical day includes uh, going to the university. And sometimes the cl- it's just like a lecture class, which is one and a half hour. And then I come back to my office. Uh, I have a very, very good team of five people that I work with. And uh, they are phenomenal. They are all young women, uh, which gives me a lot of energy to work with them. And uh, uh, so they are working on Asia Initiative uh, projects. And our projects are actually all over the world. Uh, We call ourselves Asia Initiatives, but our projects are also in Ghana, in Kenya, and in the United States. Uh, So we are constant, and we don't do anything directly. We do it with local partners, which means on daily basis, we are talking to local partners. We are trying to raise funds to support the local partners. And so it's a a busy day. Uh, But for me, uh, work is like fun. So people say, oh, don't you need a rest? And I say, no, I'm having just too much fun. Why would I want to rest? And uh, a rest is actually just maybe change of activity. And for me, there is a lot of that because I teach and I do this. And also the work is so varied. One day you're talking to Ghana, you're talking to people. Uh, one day, you know, you are uh, trying to deal with financial issues in a certain project. And so the work is so varied that... Uh, I'm actually working the whole time, (laughs) but I really love it. But also, I think it's very important for uh, men and women to balance their life. So I have a very supportive, loving husband. And and so I do uh, take time for our relationship. And it's so important to do that. Um, because he's always teasing me that you're too busy. But, uh, you know, so we have... Uh, We go out sometimes or we have a nice meal together and we share some interests because although he's in the tax side of things, uh, but, you know, there's a lot to talk about. Uh, And uh, so, yeah, and I love, love to cook, love to cook. And I love to cook for my team. It's very important to go to the field to see the actual impact. Because you can read reports, but it's not the same thing as going to the field and talking to people. And we have a way of, uh, we call it Socratic dialogue. And Socratic dialogue is, you know, there's no rush. You sit with people and you let them talk and you and you want to hear about what are their needs. Because you want to des- design the product that they need or the project that they need. So we just sit quietly and we listen because listening is the biggest important thing.